In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top 10 tips at reducing the weight of your backpack. Howdy guys, welcome to Pie on the Trail. On this channel we talk about ultralight backpacking, travel and gear reviews. So if this is your first time here, I'd love for you to consider subscribing. Let's dive into the video. Tip number one, look at what ultralight through hikers use. Compare what they use compared to your wants and your needs. There's no need to reinvent the wheel. People have been carrying lightweight packs for a long time. Um, be sure to check out my playlist here for all the gear that I use when I go out in the woods. Tip number two, take less stuff. There's really no simpler way to have a lightweight pack than to just take less stuff with you. I recommend sorting your gear into two piles, things that you want and things that you need. You can probably look at the things that you want and ditch 95% of that. Uh, that way you're gonna have a lighter pack. Tip number three, make the investment for the lightest gear that you can afford. Now you've ditched a lot of the gear that you don't need, you can start wor working on reducing the weight of the gear that you do have. The best way to do this um, is usually to invest in lightweight gear from ultralight backpacking companies. Uh, simply by going with a companies like this, you're gonna save weight uh, over traditional backpacking companies. Um, this can be expensive, it does obviously cost money, but remember you don't need to do everything at the same time. Pick one thing, do your research, invest in that, and once that's done, move on to the next one. Tip number four, carry just the right amount of water. Water is going to be the heaviest thing that we carry when we're backpacking, so why would we carry more than we need? Um, in an area where there are abundant water sources, such as the Appalachian Trail, I drink as much water as I can out of the water source and then only carry what I need to, carry, uh, to get me to the next water source. It's really important that you use your map wisely to avoid uh, running out of water in between stretches. Tip number five, research ultralight DIY backpacking gear. Not everything needs to be super expensive when you're ultralight backpacking. Um, there's so many DIY uh, tutorials here on YouTube and if you do a Google search, uh, for example, one of my favorites is replacing the lid on your cook pot um, with uh, a homemade lid made from a pie tin. You're gonna save a lot of weight, it doesn't cost you anything and it's kind of fun. Tip number six, carry lighter weight food options. Food is the second heaviest thing you're gonna be carrying on the trail, but it is very important to be carrying uh, calorically dense food sources. What you wanna try and avoid is food that have a lot of water weight, such as fresh fruit. You should look at options that are high in calories and relatively low in weight, such as peanut butter, uh, granola bars, and protein bars. Tip number seven, sharing gear with a hiking partner. This is a great one if you can do it. If you're hiking as a couple or as two really good friends, you can share a tent, you can share a cook kit, you can share a sleeping bag if you're really good friends. Um, what you want to avoid though is that if you do get separated in kind of an emergency situation that you have, have enough with you to take care of your own needs. Tip number eight, read these two books. Ultralight Backpacking by Mike Cleland and The Ultimate Hiker's Gear Guide by Andrew Skirker. Um, when planning for the Appalachian Trail, these two books were so helpful for me um, and I've also been digging back through them now in preparation for the CDT. There's excellent information for the beginner, ultralight backpacker and the experienced people as well. Tip number nine, look for items that can serve multiple purposes. If you can carry one item that covers two tasks, even if it doesn't do them perfectly, you, probably, you should probably try and do that. Um, for example, a phone covers many of these. Uh, it can be your phone, it can be your GPS, it can be your camera, it can be, be your book, um, thus allowing you to leave all those other heavy items at home. Tip number 10, and probably my personal favorite, is to simply make a game out of this. Don't take it too seriously. Um, aim to cut a pound from your base weight. Once you've done that, figure out how to do it again. Um, if, you, if you go out into the woods with that setup and you're really missing something, you can always add it back in later. Um, I obviously don't recommend doing this on a long through hike. Do it on a single night trip. Okay, so those are my 10 top tips for reducing the weight of your backpack. I hope they were helpful for you. Um, just one other small piece of advice I heard from somewhere, uh, I can't really remember where. Um, you can basically choose to be, when you go out backpacking, you can choose to be comfortable whilst hiking. 
by having a lightweight backpack. Or you can choose to be comfortable in camp and have lots of luxuries and, you know, smoking fat cigars and drinking whiskey. But really, if you're going out in the woods for more than a couple of nights at a time, you should probably choose to have a lightweight backpack and be comfortable whilst hiking. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I, I enjoyed doing this video. I think it's a fun one to shoot. Um, if you enjoyed it, do me a huge favour, subscribe to the channel and like this video. I'll see you in the next one.